Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Nipun Joshi from CricketMerchant.com. Uh, today, I have something that I want to share with you all. Uh, this is with respect to setting expectations on what you could be looking out for. Um, I just picked up a bag that I'm actually um, sending uh, Texas. It's um, an SS Gladiator cricket bag. And uh, the request for, was for me to personally pick this up, which, which uh, I, I did. I, I have hand-picked this bag from the three, four bags that I had in stock. Uh, make no mistake, all of them are as good as this. But this one particular, uh, that catches my eyes a lot uh, and the reason behind that is it's it's uh, obviously uh, has to be an exceptional bat for me to do a special review uh, on a cricket bat but uh, there are certain things that uh, I want you to help and help you guide uh, on what you should look out for on a cricket bat when you are out in market looking for a decent premium below uh, if you're spending money on a cricket bat that costs you uh, really really uh, high uh, when I'm when talking about cost perspective anywhere between 400 to 500 600 bucks keep this video review in mind and uh, try to see if you can find something similar to this there are other other food pointers that I want to make out here is uh, and in front of you all is all SS bats they don't get shipped to us until the owner of the company checks each and every bat that's coming to cricketmerchant.com um, and his name is Jatin Sarin is the proprietor of SS brand um, I want to personally thank you Jatin Bhai uh, for looking after on all our orders and especially uh, you know allotting and carving out some time for our bats uh, you know uh, quality check by you personally before they are actually shipped to us so um, Hands down, Jatin Bhai, thank you very much for uh, uh, checking quality of every batch that come across to us, to Cricket Merchant United States. Um, and uh, I, I must say that the batch that they come, batch that come to Cricket Merchant are nothing but best. They're all as per Cricket Merchant standard. They're all as per recommendations by the owner itself because you know obviously SS is one of the brand that has a, a handful number of players using their products so um, keeping this short let me get to this back basics um, on purchasing a cricket bat there are certain things that you need to look out for and I'm gonna tell you what um, this may this this per particular are oval shape because that's what we wanted here so this is an oval handle, uh, which gives you a very beautiful grip, um, helps you lock your bat down when you play shots. Uh, the second part of this is awesome decal. I mean, this is something I just put on top of the plastic wrap, just put it in here. This is an approved uh, quality symbol from SS. Uh, Gladiator, top of the line cricket bat from SS. So <clears throat> let me be quiet for a second and help you see. the ton symbol top to bottom beautiful grains and I'll see roughly about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve grains You're looking at about twelve beautiful clean straight grain uh, straight grains uh, <clears throat> without any blemishes clear premium below so why i consider that this bat as one of the best out of all that i have here uh, any brand you name <clears throat> one it has 10 plus grains which is uh, obviously clean willow that makes it a higher end bat the difference between grade a and premium is very marginal performance wise yes it is definitely huge difference and that's what I want to talk about so if you take a look at this grains 12 grains in front 12 grains in back so if I count where I can see all the grains let's say start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 grains 
and you know partial 12 here right so if I take a look at number of grains the way it goes straight and if I find this is the beauty of SS and that is one of the reason why they don't put toe guards if you take a look at the toe the same number of grains that are evenly straight parallel spaced out grains are exactly the same number of grains at the toe as well and you won't find this on all all of their bats right because this is premium grade level changes the grain structure but if you look at the toe they are very much straight and some bats you'll find going diagonal even though if the grains are straight on the top but you see those going diagonal which won't give you a great perspective of what the grain structure is on a willow so this gives me a clear indication it shows me very well that the grains in the front at the toe and at the back right so if you look at this angle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve ish on the end right there same number of grains at the toe and the same number of grains in the front this is why i wanted to kind of show you you know this is what you need to look for when you buy a cricket bat most manufacturer hide the toe area by uh, putting a toe guard which looks pretty good it's like a lipstick on a bat right so it looks very decent but the toe guards won't stay long uh, because as and when you start dragging the bat someday one of those days in a game is going to come off also increases the chances for you to nick a ball in the back uh, by sleep or keeper whatever it is but <clears throat> amazing awesome willow uh, i'm going to check a few things on this i have a bad gauge so we're going to try, try to see whether this goes through because this is a big, big brand i'm expecting this to obviously go through which it does perfect easy smooth slow we're looking at uh, the caliper let's find out the bat thickness on it Forty mm, bit of rounded edge, bit of rounded edges. So it's it's forty something. Okay, there it is. Right, the toe. You're looking at about twenty four. So decent size back. Uh, the weight on this is two point ten ounce. I'm gonna check the ping on this. just hit the ceiling and this is what I talk about as soon as I had picked this bat whoa this is going to be a killer I'm going to knock oil and knock this bat for this customer in uh, Texas and I'm very sure it's gonna be surprised and happy with the ping that it produces so let's take a look at uh, today I have this uh, CM infinity highest quality uh, cricket ball with me so again take a look You can see it without any effort it's hitting the ceiling that's that's the back enough so guys I'm setting an expectation here if you do spend anywhere above 400 to 450 dollar in a cricket bat ask the seller what are you getting in return and if you do not get something a quality of this cricket bat good luck with it but try because this kind of willows are very rare so it makes harder um, for you to purchase because it's not easily available not all gladiators have the same structure it may have little less grains but anywhere from 10 plus yes they will have it ss does a phenomenal job and you know head uh, heads off to jatin bhai for hand picking and uh, approving this batch before they actually get shipped to us after quality check so look out for something that's similar to this be it any brand ss of course one of the best brand out of india 
a lot of players use it but you know try to see if you can find something similar to this bag beautiful parallel grains same grain structure on the toe or at the toe and the same grain structure in the back amazing beautiful willow and this is what makes SS different than any other brand out in market they literally love producing best willow from cricketmerchant.com today I was reviewing one of the SS phenomenal bag fantastic fantabulous this is just amazing uh, <clears throat> click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, click here to uh, shop if you want to buy this bag again Nippon from Cricket Merchant cheers guys